Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Friday, December the 6th, and it's 1028 a.m. <clears throat> now, I want to share a video with you, and many of you already have heard about this. And actually, many people don't even believe it's true that it, this is going on. This is an, a, a supernatural thing that's going on, and it's called the Mandela Effect. The reason I bring it up is because those who haven't heard about it may be reading their word and believe in what they're reading. This goes into a few of the verses, such as the one I used the other day with somebody. I said, the lion will lay down with the lamb. We know that Jesus is referred to as the lion from the tribe of Judah, but he's also known as the lamb of God. So, can it be both of him? Can they both be him? The lion will lay down with the lamb. I think it's just telling us that some something as wild as a lion, as, you know, they normally would go after a lamb and eat it. But no, the Bible has told us for years that the lion will lay down with the lamb. Okay, but it got changed uh seven eight years ago maybe longer to the wolf will lay down with the lamb so most of us who are, have read the bible for years and years and have read that verse we knew something was up and there was a lot of talk about this back in 2013 or 2014 and there are channels who have a lot of videos that tell a lot of scriptures that they have found that have been changed. Now, it doesn't just affect the Bible. It affects uh, stores, restaurants, products, like the Berenstain Bears. This is really weird. Why would the... Uh, the evil side whoever decided they needed to do this why would they take an old really old bunch of stories called the Berenstain Bears and change the spelling of the last name it was S-T-E-I-N I believe that's right which is German, Berenstain, to S-T-A-I-N. Any old version of Berenstain Bears you can find is going to say A-I-N. And it was always E-I-N, Berenstain. So you might think, well, that's not a big deal, I guess. I mean, that's just a child story. That's true. But the changes in the Bible that they've made are a big deal. And another one is Chick-fil-A. And you would think that they would put us, you know, demand that they put it back. But it's no longer spelled exactly the way they had it. And I don't remember which way it was before, but it's different now. And so I'm just going to share this with you. You can watch it if you want. If you don't know anything about the Mandela Effect, you might want to check it out. The description, uh, well, the information will be in my description box. But for those who cannot read the description box, get a pencil and paper out and write this down. The channel is simply... Samantha. I've never heard of her. She's uh, dressed differently than we normally do, so she's probably not one you want to share. You want to 
go to all the time, but um, it's titled Mandela Effect, colon, The Return of Jesus, exclamation, and then she's put, um, oh, what is that little star that's on the number eight, asterisk, proof, asterisk, although her asterisk looks like a five-pointed star. That's interesting. It's not on my computer. My asterisk looks like an asterisk. Okay. Anyway, then after the word proof, there's another asterisk. Then Jesus is coming soon. Exclamation mark. Related to the number sign Mandela effect. That's M-A-N-D-E-L-A. If you don't know how to spell that. Mandela effect is all one word there. Okay, so. Um, it's unbelievable how it can even be done. I don't know how they're doing it. It's some sort of new supernatural or brand new technology. With that, I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over the internet connection and over each and every one of you. And if you're not familiar with this, I would pray that you would watch it so you will know what's going on when you hear people speak of it, which not many do nowadays. But our Bibles are different. They've been changed. And it's not just in a couple of places that have to do with... Oops. That's Jesus. That's the, the video. Um, it's a real good video. Right here she shows... A, a, God brought them out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Using the King James Version, Numbers 23, verse 22. You look it up. See if yours says unicorn. Have you ever heard that before? See, it's been a while since I read Numbers, but I don't remember that. I think I would remember that. And now Isaiah 11, 6 says... Um, Well, he's talking about the lion shall lay down with the lamb. But Isaiah 6 now says, um, well, they show the, la the wolf with the lambs. This is blasphemous because it's saying the, the, la the wolf will lay down with the lamb. In the Bible, the wolf represents deception. But inwardly, they are ravenous wolves. This is the original King James Version scripture. It too has changed. And now this is written in that real old-fashioned weird writing the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them oh i'm getting sleepy already So I guess that about covers it. So I'll say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection and over each and every one of you and all your devices, my computer. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.